What do you do there? It's Saturday afternoon in college towns all over the country. Kids have been set up since the night before and loyal fans are arriving with their many platters of food. The ritual of tailgating has evolved over the years from eating from wagons to elaborate displays of maroon and white, red and blue, purple and yellow, and the like. As fans walk among the tents visiting with old friends, the aroma of chicken, barbecue, and special favorites such as pepperoni pinwheels captures their attention. Since I was a little girl in the kitchen with my family, I've been interested in learning how to cook. One of my all-time favorites, and that of my tailgating buddies, comes from a cookbook called Recipes from Home. I have also researched the history of tailgating and found how certain foods became popular on game day from the American Tailgater Association's website, americantailgater.org. Baking these pepperoni <coughs> pinwheels can be accomplished in five simple steps. Cook with me as we select our ingredients, chop and mix, fill, slice, and bake to get our finished product. First, you need to gather all of your ingredients, and there's not very many. You will need half a cup chopped pepperonis, half a cup mozzarella cheese, one roll of crescent rolls, which I've already rolled out to save time, and one egg. You will also need a mixing bowl, a spoon, a cutting board, a pan to roll them out on, and a knife to chop with. Once you have your ingredients in order, your work begins. You are now ready to chop pepperoni slices, the favorite topping of America, according to the Chicago Tribune, and adding your cheese. The chopping process goes most efficiently if the pepperonis are stacked and then chopped. It saves for time and it's also a lot easier. And to save time today, I have already chopped most of our pepperonis up. Add these to your mixing bowl and then measure a half cup of mozzarella cheese. Any cheese could be used, but mozzarella is suggested. I usually tend to make a mess. You will now choose one of two mixing methods to mix your mixture. Proper mixing is the key to success in this recipe. Add your egg to your mixture and choose your method. The first method is to mix with your hands, but that tends to create a mess. So as I'm demonstrating today, the second option is to mix with a, a big spoon. Mix your uh, pepperoni and cheese mixture until it is a thick consistency. Note that it will not look like cake batter. Instead, think of it as more of a tossed salad dish. As you fill the slices of crescent, as you fill and slice your crescent rolls, your work is almost complete. Fill each slice with your pepperoni and cheese mixture. It doesn't really matter how much you get, as long as you use all of your mixture. They taste a lot better if you have more, though. When you're finished filling them, roll them jelly roll style, just like this. Pinch together the middle to make sure that nothing falls out. Just like that. Once you have completed all four of these steps, you're ready to slice. Slice your rolls into pretty big pinwheels. They don't have to be perfect by any means at all. Once you have done this, there's only one thing left to do. The final step to making these pinwheels is to bake them. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and once you have finished slicing, bake, 12, bake for 12 to 15 minutes. In conclusion, when the pinwheels are finished baking, cool for a few minutes and enjoy. The next time you need an easy to make food for the art of tailgating, as the American Tailgater Association calls it, consider these pepperoni pinwheels and your fans will not be disappointed.